Now it's time to jump into our third sector. Alright, let's go to the next sector and see what we have. We have two choices, and they are both unchartered nebulae. Oh, this is going to be fun. And you know I'm not very particularly fond of nebulae at the moment, and... Oh, interesting. The there are four layers in the map, all right. It's a little bit more than I thought there were. All right, so I could either go up here and things to be tend to be more hostile down here, tend to be safer down here. I could probably get a lot more done if I go through here, but knowing my record and my underwhelming skills, I think for now I will go down here and see what happens. This nebula must have been an important hub at one point. Placing all of these jump beacons would be no easy task. However, it's hardly navigable. Now it's hardly navigable. Fun! Alright, so let us make our first one. We've got a distress call here and here. Now the X is way up here. Now, I'd like to do as little time inside the nebula as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to both distress signals, since they're both outside the nebula. Then I am going to make a straight rush for the exit. Sorry, I don't like nebulae. I try to stay away from them. Maybe when I'm better at controlling fires and stuff like that, I can start to like them, but until then, I have no trouble just with the regular parts of the game. It appears that the distress beacon is coming from the surface of a nearby moon. Your sensors are picking up a single life form. Should we investigate or ignore the signal? Ooh, let's investigate. How many people do I get killed as a result? You find a man living alone in a cave. From the appearance of his wrecked ship, it appears he has been here for many years. He looks healthy, but his mental state is questionable. Do I bring him back to, to the ship in hopes that he, of finding some help for him, or do I leave the madman to his ravings and not worth the risk? Well, I know I don't like risking nebulae, but let's risk helping this poor guy. Being back in space terrifies him. He goes mad and nearly blows a hole in the side of your ship with a makeshift explosion in an attempt to escape his mental pr metal prison. He dies in the explosion. <laughs> oh, well. So much for that plan. Right, everything going well. Then let us jump and... Let's go to the other distress signal, and hopefully things will look up better here. Hope it's not the same scenario. You have encountered a refugee ship drifting in space. It looks as if it was fleeing a rebel advance and ran out of fuel. Its distress beacon was active, but you're not sure anyone is on board, as communication seems to be down. Well then, let's invest investigate. I mean, if someone's in danger, we must help them. That's the entire point, even though it's probably a rebel spy that's going to blow us up. As you in... This is getting really bad. As you investigate the ship, you are attacked by the non... Now cannibalistic crew, driven mad by the lack of food, they have turned to feeding on one each other. As you fight your way back off to the ship, one of your crew falls to the crazed attackers, and you are forced to leave them behind or else lose your entire ship. This has got to be the two worst encounters ever. Right, so I am down a member of my crew. I can save my current crew positions? Well then, let's see. We need weapons, we need engines. Alright. Then we will save these crew positions. And we could return to those, I guess, when we are done with it. That way I don't have 
to before I go sounds like the first thing I need to do is to prepare my bed bay I want to make sure that I guess I didn't realize that that was down And let's power up my lasers also. And as it's, we could test going back. Yep, that works like a champ. And now we can head on our way and now into the nebula where we are sure to get torn into shreds. Danger. In danger, alright. It appears that an automated rebel scout was positioned within the nebula to warn of your passing. All right. Your ship starts to power up its FTL drive. If it gets away, it will no doubt warn the fleet of your position. Right. So now, therefore, I have to destroy it as fast as possible. So. All right. So let us... I'll we'll have to go after its drive and see what happens. Uh, oh, oh, shields are critical. Oh, 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 of course, we can't see anything because we are in. All right, we'll send him to there, and there's a problem when you are short on everything. We will continue the fire. All right, good. All right, ship breaks apart, and we get three fuel. That's good. Two missiles, that's good, and some scrap, that's all good, and let us get out of here as quickly as possible. Or, or actually, uh, you are inside Nebula, your sensors will not function, but the rail fleet will advance more slowly toward, oh yeah, okay, fine. I just want to make sure we're not prone to fires or anything like that. Good, everything's fine. So as soon as he gets back, we can be off. They're starting to advance, but even though they'll be advancing more slowly, I, st I still don't like Nebula. As you wait for the FTL drive to charge, you have to expect to be ambushed at any moment. However, no attack comes. <laughs> oh, well. What's this? Sensors. Oh, of course, because they're down due to the current situation. Then let us jump. Well, this is going to be a fast trip. Uh, let's see if we go here. That's outside the nebula. I re but that requires me to go back in here and here. Tricky. Well, not much enough excitement of this so far, so let us go in here. Nearby space station hails you. Greetings. Your arrival is most fortuitous. We recently came across some extra drones. If you have some fuel, perhaps you can make a deal. Well, I currently don't need any drone parts, so I'm more... Fortunately, I must reject their offer. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't know about that. Oof. Well, before I go anywhere, I suppose I am going to have to put out these fires. Alright. Yeah, let's put out these fires. Mm. This is 
isn't good. How about what's the best way of handling this? Off shield status, unpowered damage on fire. <sighs> because the other only way I could think of removing a fire is Oh this isn't good. Alright. This isn't good at all. Well we'll keep that door closed. Okay, let's see. Acton is needs to get to the med bay as fast as possible. Oh uh, yeah, once these fires start, they like to keep on going. Now I suspect turning off the oxygen will help to put it out faster, but powering down oxygen of course has its own risks. Let's see what that does. Well, that <laughs> doesn't help a bit. <laughs> I was hoping that would help. And you would think about... Ah, yes, okay. It starts to... Oh, ow, 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 oh, oh, ow, 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 why did you go through that? Oh, it was flipped that, oh my goodness gracious. Oh, no. Oh, this is, another one lost because of fire. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, I need the oxygen back, it looks. I was hoping the oxygen would put, lack of oxygen would put out the fire. Alright, it won't take damage, but... Yeah, med bay's going down. Yeah, med day's down. My ship is blowing apart. Ooh, right. How long can I keep the oxygen down without suffocating? All right. And that's the problem when uh, you don't have sensors. I can't figure out where how strong the fires are. That actually Alright. Cannot heal off. Can oh oh that Alright, let's turn the oxygen back on. Did I actually manage to do it right this time? But this is why I don't like nebulae. I had these big fires in there. I didn't see that I was on fire until I was in the next area. Now, hopefully... Yeah, I can now... Well, first get the med bay up. Good. Now I can repair everything else as soon as everything's ready. Let's get those... Sh Not that the sensors are going to be much good, <laughs> because they're going to... <laughs> they're going to be down again as soon as we are back into the nebula. All right, everything's back to normal. Well, at least as normal as they are going to be. So let's get back to our positions. Uh, 
in or oh there's an oxygen gauge all right I could keep that track of that in the future <sighs> all right now that everybody's breathing again the fires are out we can head off to the next point which is on the edge of the nebula looks like A heavily damaged Federation ship is hiding in the nebula at this beacon. Before you have time to make contact with them, they fade into the nebula. Ooh. Okay, I'll, I'll attempt to help them. You get lucky and find them floating not too deep in the nebula. Thrilled, be found by friendlies. They come on board and abandon their wrecked ship. Alright, so therefore I get a new crewman. Yay! I could use one. Alright, so... We'll put... We'll go there. And... Can they give me more information about this crew, man? All right, let's see if I can. Crew. Coven. Zoltan. The Zoltans are allies of the Engi. Their innate energy can power sh ship systems, provides power to occupied system, and max health reduced to 70. Fif minus 15 damage to enemy crew on debt. So, therefore, they act as free power. Oh, well, that's nice to hear. Alright, fine. So, that's nice to see. So, therefore, my shields... Alright, so... So, I got an extra point of power. This is yellow. So... Fully power stats for Sultan power bonus. Add power A. So let's see what we could do about upgrades. Upgrades. Our currently our shield is at two. Let's bring it to Alright, so that's two there and a little bit extra power. And okay, so now we are nice and full with a little bit of extra boost from our new ally. So let us get out of here and to the exit. So we lost one member of our crew and we got another one back. Long range beacon is almost hidden by the nebula when the FTL drive is charged. You can jump to the next sector. Is that it? I guess that's it. Nothing unusual happened in this area. Well, so therefore that's Sector 3. We managed to survive, despite a little bit of problem there. And it looks like this is our last nebula for a while, and I will be thankful for the rest. So next time we'll head into Sector 4, where we'll see what's going to be coming after us. Hopefully not another set of fires and perhaps I can start to build up my ship I've got a non-member a non-human member of my crew so maybe I could start building up a crew that's not all human and try to complete that achievement or maybe buy some items from a store maybe work on that achievement <sighs> But I suspect that right now just getting to the 8th sector will be an achievement in its own. But we'll see that in next time for our next episode of Finally Flays FTL Faster Than Light.